Thank you, Madam President. I rise to ask for support for Senate Bill 1. I want to talk a little bit at the outset here about I think we're losing sight of what we're doing here today. And I want to talk about process and I want to talk about precedent. Process. This is, in essence, a process vote. Passing this bill will send these questions to the voters. The voters will be the ultimate decision makers on these. These three issues, when brought before the voters, will not be bundled. They will each stand separate and either earn an affirmative or a negative vote. We owe the residents, our constituents, the members of this Commonwealth, the right to weigh in on these issues. That is what Senate Bill 1 does. It is a process vote. Precedent. There is precedent. And to rebut some of the previous comments with respect to why, what do these three areas have in common? I'm sure you could make some type of a connection along the lines, but I hearken back to this General Assembly not too long ago. Senate Bill 1166 in June of 2020 and again, then again in July of 2020. And Senate Bill 2 in January of 2021. Excessive sessions, constitutional questions, constitutional amendments. One could make the same argument. What do equal rights with regard to race or ethnicity possibly have with the termination of a disaster declaration or the definition of procedures for issuing a disaster declaration? Those three questions passed this body. Those three questions passed the House on successive sessions. Those questions made it before the voters. Those questions all were adopted. May of 2021 and all three are being enforced today. Precedent. Again, Madam President, we are putting these questions before the voters. What are you afraid of? Honestly, are we saying, yes, voters of Pennsylvania, you can vote on statute of limitations, but no, can't vote on voter ID, can't vote on regulatory reform, no. We don't want to hear your opinions on that. What are you afraid of? Move this process forward. This can be on the ballot in May. Move this process forward. Let the voters of Pennsylvania decide these questions. I ask for a firm vote. Thank you, Madam President.